welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about another borrowed pen and this time it's a Sailor. It's a Sailor Pro Gear Mille Colore Blue and it is a very lovely pen but the pen is not like what's special although it is fairly special. What's really special is the nib on his pen which is a Naginata Togi which is a specialty nib by Sailor. Anyway I'm very excited to show you guys what it is to write with this pen. Uh, so let us change the shot and actually go for it. All right. All right, here we have a close up of the Sailor Professional Gear, Mil Colore Blue. I am not going to repeat that very often um, because that name is a mouthful, but it is a beautiful pen with different colors of blue and lovely gold trim rings on the body and on the cap uh, in addition to the regular trimmings like with the clip and the barrel end. Of course it also has this lovely cap end that says Sailor Japan founded 1911. This is a flat top um, Sailor also makes cigar shaped pens, but this one is a nice flat top. This is the regular size Pro Gear, it, so it is bigger than the Slim, of course. And the thing about this specific pen is that the nib is a specialty nib. So Sailor makes specialty nibs, and this one actually has one on there. And the specific specialty nib on this pen is the Naginata Togi. Uh, the Naginata Togi Medium Fine, to be specific. And this pen has been such an interesting pen to write with because it has um, different writing widths when you change the angle of the pen. So it's kind of like a zoom nib, but it does feel kind of different because it's 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 shaped a little different. I, it's really hard to explain properly, but it's more brush-like than the zoom nib, so um, it feels like the side strokes are also a little broader than the down strokes, and the zoom nib doesn't really do that. The zoom nib just changes width depending on the writing angle. Anyway, these nibs are kind of hard to get. Um, the specialty nibs, uh, they're often out of stock, but of course, I'm borrowing this pen from Dr. Brownie, um, which is very nice of him again. And I'm very excited to show you guys the writing sample. I have this inked up with Diamine Sargasso C, um, which is an ink that smells really good to me. Um, I know I'm kind of weird about that ink, but whatever. It's great. Anyway, let's just start at my regular writing angle and see how that goes. So. Sailor, Pro Gear, and then Naginata, Togi, and then it's the medium fine version, so MF, and let's just do some down and side strokes. As you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. There is a slight difference between the down strokes and the side strokes. So down, side, and then if you change the angle, it gets broader is what I have noticed. So this is a really low writing angle. And then I can do a high writing angle and it becomes less broad. So that is similar to the zoom nib. In my experience, the zoom nib doesn't really have that difference of line width um, when you do down strokes versus side strokes. Now, this nib, it took a while for me to find my favorite writing angle, but what I found is that I really like the low writing angle because it puts so much ink on the paper. Like it is very wet. You can see the ink like shimmer and shine. And like the nib in general is very wet. Um, 
I spoke to Brownie about maybe like stealing this pen from him because I really enjoy writing with it, but he's not letting it go. <laughs> so that's kind of sad. Uh, this nib is not meant to be like flexed in any way, so I'm also not going to try it. Um, sailor nibs are generally not really known for softness anyway. Um, and you already get some line variation if you just use it normally. So I would say don't push it. I wonder how the line variation goes if you go low. It's very subtle, but it's very nice. It's fun. Anyway, this pen, of course I've talked about the Pro Gear before, this pen can be posted. I don't think it's necessary to post it. It's large enough, but you can do it. This is not an uncomfortable pen to post. Doesn't become too top heavy, so you can definitely do it. For people with large hands, go for it. Um, this is a cartridge converter pen, alas. This colorway from Sailor is not a colorway that you see very often, so I've been looking up whether you can still buy this. There are some stores that still have it, um, but it's been discontinued, so stock will not last forever. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful pen. Like, I love that ring uh, resin combination. It kind of reminds me of the rings version of the Pelican F200. Of course, that is a much cheaper pen, um, but it has like that same vibe. I would love it if Pelican made this in blue or like a combination of several different types of resin. Anyway, I would say the most special thing about this is the nib and I've thoroughly enjoyed journaling with it. Um, I wonder how much ink I actually have left in here. Uh, that's a decent amount. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at a Sailor specialty nib, and I sure have enjoyed writing with it. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to answer them. Um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.